Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris. And in today's video, I'm going to do an everyday summer glam. This is like for all occasions, the type of makeup you applied in the morning, it lasts until like 12 if you have to, 12 at night. You know what I mean? It's a long lasting summer look. And this is something that I could apply every day minus the little pencil that I've uh, decided to add as an extra step just for those of you who I know love a little something at the base of the lashes. No further ado, this is the look for today's video. Let me get into it. I'm gonna apply Summer Fridays. This is a mineral milk sunscreen. A lot of product in here. You've got 50 milliliters. Great for traveling as well. I want you to see that this is like a very nice texture this is not enough by the way it's not enough spf for the whole face but you'll see that i will apply more just didn't want it to spill it all over i would describe this as not super super light not like drops but it's also not thick somewhere in between and basically why i take you so close because I wanted you to see exactly how much I need to massage this into the skin for it to disappear. So literally just a few seconds. So this is Summer Friday's Shade Drops Mineral Milk Sunscreen SPF 30. We need to apply a little bit more because in order to actually get the protection written on the packaging, you need to apply one gram of product. So basically, if you were to apply your sunscreen, it would have to be this much. I'm going to go outside, so I'm serious about my SPF. I'm filming, so I'm taking my time, but I have to say, when I'm by myself in the bathroom doing my makeup, I'm like, you know, probably having eaten in my left arm on my left hip and me applying makeup like, Eden, no, no, that's mommy's, that's mommy's brush. It's so big now. What's really special about this SPF is the texture. So it leaves a super, super beautiful, non-greasy texture. It's absolutely divine. I love it. If you have very, very, and I mean very dark under eyes, and if nothing that you've used worked, try to use a color correcting product. I know that there are some makeup artists that absolutely despise and think that color correcting products are just a no need type of product. But in my opinion, those are probably makeup artists that have never done makeup, for example, on Indian skin. I think that Indian skin in particular, so Asian skin has this particularity where their dark with olive undertone and their under eyes are incredibly dark and nothing really works in terms of concealer unless they will color correct first. Color correcting meaning you first use a color that will correct the color and then you come and conceal it with a concealer. And Huda Beauty has new color correcting products and I think it's great because I don't know any brand that does this anymore it's like all of a sudden we don't need color corrector I'm going to apply a little bit although I have to admit I don't need it especially now that I've got some tan I got back from vacation but basically if you are having very dark circles you want to use more of a salmony shade under the eyes to correct the color. Very, very good concealer that I've been loving and that 
that I and that I keep in my makeup kit is this Shiseido Synchro Self Refreshing Concealer, and I'm going to use it under the eyes, but I'm also going to use it on the face as well. And you, if you're like, oh, what? Just wait, okay? Because it really depends on how much you're using. So under the eyes, I use a little bit. I'm going to spread it with this Westman Atelier brush. I love the shape of this brush so much. You see instant, instant brightness. It instantly covers the dark circles. I just love this concealer. Adore it. Plus it's very, very hydrating and thin. Okay, same concealer, same shade. I'm going to use it in the center of the face where I've got this big, huge pimple that's about to say hello, probably tomorrow. You see, when the center of the face has a nice coverage, then for the rest of it, you don't need much. So here's what I like to do. Take the concealer, and I'm doing this only out of laziness, okay? I sometimes would take my concealer, like a darker shade, I would mix it with something that would make it thinner and apply it all over the face. That's the reality. I don't always use foundation, definitely not every day. So I'm going to take a darker shade of concealer. I'll put it on the back of my hand. It's like this dark. And I will mix it with this Gucci Illuminateur de Beauté. This is a new highlighter from Gucci. Very, very pretty. So, so pretty. And I will add it to my concealer. Make a little mixture. Do, 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 do. And, and now I just dot it. Yes, it's a little bit darker. Because it has to be darker, because I'm darker on my body, you know? And I take this double-ended hourglass brush. This is so useful. I love this brush. And now I'm going to spread this. And with just a little bit of product, look at the glow. But it's also sheer, you know? Because of that liquid glow that I've mixed. Oh my god, I love. Love, love, love this mixture. So one of the reasons why I really love this, when I first tested on my hand this... Um, this highlighter, by the way, this is very creamy, very hydrating. So if you have oily skin, just be mindful of that. But the reason why I like it so much is because it doesn't have any big, you know, particles. It's very, very finely milled, it's micronized. Um, and that's nice for a product like that. Because I'm not going to say the brand, but there are products out there that are similar, but they have like big chunks of almost like glitter, and I hate it. And it would enlarge the pores, it would just not look nice. This is just the opposite. It just makes your skin look radiant. You can absolutely use this product on its own, by the way. But I find it nice when you mix it. No, but guys, seriously, look how beautiful the skin is. So, in my opinion, just use whatever product you have. Could be a skin tint could be your foundation if you want to thin it out a little bit mix it with this or something similar i just love this product so much because it gives like um instant dry almost to the mix like when i apply it it dries but it becomes like a gel and as i apply it i feel like i need to move fast else it's gonna dry you know but when i touch it it doesn't feel crazy dry. It just like, it sets. And I prefer that uh, in summer. 
I don't like products that move and, and you know melt on my face so this is great now I'm going to contour a lot of you said about this product from Victoria Beckham that you know it's a great product but it's so expensive for the amount of product that you have and I couldn't agree more I looked and yes it's very little product for the price however I think this is for the type of people who want to you know add just a little bit of contour it's not for the real like I want to contour I, I really want to contour you know like full glam type of person so more like I want to contour a little bit my nose I want to I want to do something very natural that's how I see it because yes there is not much product in here it's more you know like what you would have for an eye product the finish is so nice so I also like to warm it on the back of my hand before I start blending And yes, on the nose is where it's really, really practical. If you're the type of person who likes to contour the nose, you're going to love this because it's just so easy. I'm going to take a blending brush. This is a Refer 01. Anyone else feels like sneezing when blending the contour? Oh man, you want, you can be like really precise with this. You can snatch that nose. <laughs> to use the popular terms. I wouldn't let this contour be so obvious ever in a million years. You know how I like to make everything looking pretty natural. So just taking my concealer brush to blend it. I have to say I do not contour my nose every day, if ever, mostly for videos. But in real life, I don't really contour my nose. Um, I use bronzer on my nose, but I, I almost never contour. So this is a step. Oh my God, there's a hair. This is a step that I do uh, just to show you how this contour works. If you haven't seen my previous video where I was showing you these contour sticks from Victoria Beckham Beauty. But this is not an everyday step. In summer, I just have to use powder. I mean, I use powder all the time. But in summer, in particular, I have to use powder. And I really like Huda Beauty powders. I have to say, they've quickly replaced my do-it-all powder from Laura Mercier, which you guys know I absolutely love. So I have two ways I like to use this powder. First, with a tiny brush, I dip it into the powder. I make sure I press the powder into the bristles. I look at the concealer, making sure it's not creased. Blend it. And then immediately use a little bit of powder under the eyes just to make sure that concealer is nice set okay you see how nice matte smooth the area under my eyes look okay second way I like to use the powder but this is more for the rest of the face you take a powder puff this one is from Laura Mercier you dip it into the powder make sure it's not too much again you press the powder into the puff very important else you're gonna end up applying way too much on your face and then you're going to press the powder wherever your skin produces a lot of sebum and for me that is here 
and it bothers me because I have to say it doesn't bother me when I'm shining here a little bit on the forehead but the center of my forehead is driving me nuts makes me feel like like I don't know like I haven't had a shower in a long time but once I apply powder it's like oh she's clean and then same goes for the chin, I have to apply powder on my chin. Sorry about my neighbors talking so loud. So let's do the under eyes here. Okay. Try as much as possible not to do the swiping motions. God, I love, love, love this powder. Now, skin is very nice and fresh and i can move on with this beautiful blush i think i'm coming to an end with this this is my favorite by far by far it was out of stock for a very long time but now it's back in stock and if you're buying stuff from persona cosmetics let me tell you you have to get bubble this is the shade that I'm using and also Teddy. You'll be obsessed, obsessed, okay? Just saying. Also their lip liners are very good, very good. So taking it with my fingers, applying this beautiful bubblegum pink. This is just gorgeous. In my Barbie era, I'm telling you, this is so good. This blush is perfection. And yes, I've applied it a little bit on top of the powder. That's okay. I promise. We're gonna quickly do a very natural looking eyebrow. Natural looking eyebrow for me means Brow Wiz. This is a new packaging. Or Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in shade Taupe. This has just the perfect consistency. I adore it. Okay, doing the exact same thing on the other eyebrow, you know the drill. I'm in love with these new eyeshadow sticks from Bobbi Brown and I have to say this color look at this sweet 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 color this is like a pale pink just a little bit of color especially for those of you who want to brighten your face a lot of the times you know as we get older or as you're tired you know your your whole eye area looks kind of gray and this color especially if you are you know anywhere from fair to i would say light medium medium skin tone this will come and brighten your eyes look what a nice color so one side is matte this is completely matte and trust me it stays on all day and then the other side is shimmery and it has a very very nice very nice shimmer like not glittery you see it's incredibly subtle so i get it of course in the inner corner a little bit on the brow bone but not too much we're not in like 2000s okay just a little bit just a little something ladies if you're looking for a brown pencil that would stay put all day long. Try the new Huda Beauty. This is perfection. She has one on black, one on brown. I love, love it. They're so creamy, retractable, skinny. So you could go super, super close to the lashes. Now this is totally extra, right? You know, I love... Uh, very simple eye but sometimes I feel like let's add a little something you know 
Antonia, can you get closer, please? Yes. We want to get closer. You see how I'm pushing the product in between the lashes? You don't want to have that peak of the skin between your lashes. Now, as I look straight in the mirror, I do my flick roughly first. We're going to perfect it. I mean, as much as you can, because it's still, you know, it's a pencil. It's not a, it's not an eyeliner. And then we're going to move on with the One Coat Wow mascara from uh, Huda Beauty. No, 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 stay close. I want you close. I want people to see. This is actually first impression. I've never used this mascara before, so it better be good. Because I'm going to see the Barbie movie. And then I'm going to go for dinner. And the last thing I want is to have my mascara smudged. This is... You know, it's the type of mascara that separates the lashes really well. I like mascaras when they are a little bit old, so I'm not going to express how I feel about it yet. Okay. Look what a little line does at the base of the lashes. Just, you know, always adds a little something. Now, for the lips, I'll use this new lip cream from Tata Harper and this color in particular, I thought, oh my god, it's just so pretty. Look at this. Again, it's a nice pink. What is the name of this? Blase. I like it, but do I, do I need, not need, but do I want? lip liner with it <sighs> i think i'm having a moment where i don't like lip liner anymore it's like shocking for me to hear myself saying this and i'll explain why so i went to this event wow you guys are going to judge me but i'm just gonna say it i went to this event and there were a lot of influencers and i of course i know that i have an influence in this you know social media space but I don't consider myself as like my job is to be an influencer my job is to be a makeup artist that's my main job so I, I went to this space and they were full of women obviously all content creators in France and everyone had the same makeup everyone looked more or less the same and it just hit me I know it's a trend, you know, to, to go a little over the board with the makeup, especially when you're a content creator because you're taking pictures, you're taking videos. But here's the thing. It wasn't anything else that really bothered me. It's not the right word, but like the, how should I put this? That strike me, that made me look twice more than the lips. It was like the typical influencer lip. It's not the type of lip that I do, but I realized how particular it is when you see something that something that you take it out of Instagram or TikTok and you put it in real life and all of a sudden it's like, oh, that looks like what I have on my phone, but in real life it kind of looks fake. You know what I mean? And it was specifically about the lips. The lips like everyone had crazy overlined and retouched lips and not with makeup. I have nothing against it, just so you know. I am so like into whatever makes you feel beautiful and whatever works for you. But seeing everyone wearing the same thing, the same color, like the very overlined, very dark, matte lip, 
a little bit like a Kylie Jenner 2016, I would say, something like that. France is a little bit late when it comes to beauty trends. They are up to date for fashion, but beauty wise, people just discover the eyebrow pencil, basically. That's the reality. Um, so anyway, seeing just like everyone wearing that particular lip, I'm like, do I, do I look like that? Is that how I look when I do my makeup? Is that how I look when I do my lips? Like when I apply my, my lipstick and I just stepped back for a second and I'm like, maybe I have an addiction. Maybe I have an addiction to, just like you could have addiction for anything. Maybe I have an addiction to seeing myself with bigger lips. Because this is what I do with lip liner. I just make my lips look, right? I still love it. But I'm a Libra. I hate to be out of control, okay? I need to have control over everything and anything. So... When I feel like I lose control over myself and I get addicted to anything, could be coffee, could be sweets, could be makeup, I take a step back and I'm like, <sighs> I gotta remember who I am, how I look like, and why I love myself. <laughs> so I'm taking just a step back. Doesn't mean I don't like it anymore. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna get back to it. I'm just gonna take a step back and appreciate my lips because I have beautiful lips. I've got a nice shape. I'm very grateful for the way I look. I don't need to change it, okay? So there, I said it. I said it out loud. Now you know. <sighs> with that being said, I'm happy. You know what? I'm happy with the way uh, this look is. I think also because I have contoured my eyes pretty heavily. Um, I don't feel the need of contouring my lips. I think this product, you guys are gonna love it. You know, I only say about lip products when I really, really, really mean it. This is one, this is one that's worth to try. It's very creamy. It's nothing like, wow, I've never seen before this form. No, it's like not out of this world, but it's a good product. I think this is just easy to use, very flattering on a lot of skin tones. It, it comes in like six different shades. And yeah, this is today's look. Do I need anything more? Maybe a little bit of bronzer, because I feel like there is not enough contrast. Let's just use this. Oh my God, like Antonia is looking at me as like, Antonia can roll her eyes more <laughs> than a 10 years old, I swear. <laughs> it's like, are you done? <laughs> are you done? Antonia, I think you forget that for eight years I've been filming by myself. There was nobody to judge me. <laughs> I mean, not by myself, but with my husband, who would not dare to say a word. <laughs> okay, I'm taking this. I'm taking this Victoria Beckham Beauty. Oh God. Yeah, I'm taking this Victoria Beckham Beauty bronzer just to add more. Yeah, this is better. Just a little bit better. Now I'm done. Okay. Now I'm almost done. <laughs> uh, hey, <laughs> I just want listen, I just wanted to tell you something really quick. I've used it. Don't buy this. Do not buy this. This is really bad. Mist and fix the matte one. I like the mist and fix the original one from Makeup Forever. It's actually a really good product. Very similar with a MAC. But the matte one, girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. You know what I mean? The reason why I don't like this is because when you spray it, it leaves like a, a, a residue, like a white cast. It looks horrible in pictures. If by mistake there is one drop that is being left and it dries, it destroys your makeup. I just used it once, it destroyed my makeup. 
I had to start it all over again. I don't like it. So I'm gonna go back to my airbrush flawless finish. Um, honestly, I was saving this for tomorrow's client. <laughs> But I think after this, I'm going to just have to buy a new one. I go through these so often, it's crazy. Still have a little bit left. When you see like a drop, like a big drop on the face, you have to just make sure you go over with your finger. Thank you, Antonia. Okay guys, now really I'm done. This is the final look. This is my everyday makeup. I know that I've, I was talking so much and it doesn't look like an everyday makeup, but trust me, if you do this with a toddler in your left and <laughs> with a brush on your right, you can do it in 10 minutes, okay? Minus the pencil. That's just not gonna happen for me. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget that everything I've mentioned you find in the description down below along with my beautiful new earrings from Cinco, of course. This is a dress that I have from Koss last year. I don't think they have it anymore, but I'm gonna find something similar for you. All right, see you guys in my next one. I'm gonna go see the Barbie movie right now. Bye. There are controversial, very controversial con. I know that they're all very controversial. I like the mist and fizz. fizz. <laughs>